So for many of you out there, maybe you're an entrepreneur, maybe you're an investor, you dream of traveling the world or settling down in a country that simply makes it easy to file the taxes, right? You wanna pay maybe one sum and be done with it. If that's what you wanna do, stay tuned. We're gonna take a closer look at that. My name is Javier. I'm a strategy associate here at Nomad Capitalist, where we help seven and eight figure entrepreneurs and investors go where they're treated best, set up holistic plans, which often uh, you know, includes relocating to countries that make uh, their lives easier in terms of tax compliance and filing their tax returns. Now, uh, there are different countries around the world that offer different advantages and benefits to international entrepreneurs, uh, freelancers, and investors. However, one category of countries that literally stand out is the lump sum tax uh, country. So what do I mean by a lump sum tax? So a lump sum tax is essentially just a fixed amount. Uh, let's say I'm your tax man and instead of having you know some complex reporting requirement all i do is tell you listen give me ten thousand dollars we'll call it even that is what lump sum taxation is all about so you'd be surprised to know that some of the countries that actually offer lump sum taxations are some of the top quality jurisdictions around the world and the first one i wanted to um essentially talk about is italy so italy again beautiful place beautiful and fantastic food great scenery great history and on top of that if you happen to not have been an italian tax resident for the past 10 years you may potentially relocate to italy now on the immigration side which is a bit out of the scope of this video you have italian golden visas you have investor programs that's you know, an entirely different category but uh you know, you can basically easily obtain an Italian residence permit as a high net worth individual, relocate to Italy, and you can benefit from a lump sum tax system, an alternative to the normal Italian tax system, and you can be take benefit or take advantage of this system for a period of 15 continuous years. Now, do keep in mind that if at any point you interrupt or renounce to your rights, then you can't really get the system back. So if you really want to, uh, you know, live in Italy, uh, have the benefit of European lifestyle, uh, make sure that uh, you are aware that, you know, you're making a commitment for 15 years and it's not easy to get the system back uh, if you decide to cut ties with Italy at any given time. So how does the Italian lump sum uh, essentially tax system work? So uh, Italy proposes a system whereby all foreign income is simply taxed at the fixed rate of 100,000 euros. Now, 100,000 euros, depending on your level of income, may be low or it may be high. Uh, it depends. Usually, Italy is a very interesting alternative for people earning at least a million euros or more. If you're earning a million euros in foreign income, whether it's foreign rental income, foreign investment, uh, foreign dividends from your offshore entity, then, you know, 100,000 euros is essentially a 10% tax rate. And you're living in Italy, 10%, and, uh, you know, taking advantage of the beautiful European lifestyle and being very efficient when it comes to tax. Obviously, if you're a very successful entrepreneur and we're talking about income levels that are in the you know 10 or 20 million dollars then your tax rate essentially drops down to zero point something percent which is extremely optimal also take into consideration that unlike countries that are usually zero tax like for example the united arab emirates for the personal side um and um some other tax havens like the Bahamas or the Cayman Islands, Italy does have a strong network of tax treaties, which means that as an Italian tax resident, you will be able to claim uh, lower withholding tax rates in the countries that your investments may be located in. For example, the United States, the United Kingdom, and others. It is also important to note that the lump sum tax in Italy basically only affects foreign sourced income, which means that if you start a local business in Italy or you start earning income locally in Italy, then that's a whole other story and you will have to file Italian taxes, but basically only on your locally uh, sourced income at the regular rates. For foreign source income, you just pay your 100,000 euros and they call it even. Next on the list is another beautiful Mediterranean country, Personally, I'm a huge fan of this country. I absolutely love their history, their mythology, birthplace of Western democracy, and this is the Hellenic Republic, Greece. You can move to beautiful Greece, you know, anywhere from Athens to islands like Mykonos, some of the most fantastic beaches in the world. Some of you watching this YouTube video might have seen the, the hit movie Mamma Mia uh, with Meryl Streep. Uh, takes place in Greece, absolutely beautiful, stunning, stunning views. And you can combine those stunning views and low cost of living that 
that Greece offers with uh, a very optimal tax situation. So Greece, basically like Italy, has a lump sum tax system that allows you to pay 100,000 euros and they call it even. So if you have substantial foreign investment, you're running your businesses globally, you want to live in Greece, you find it uh, pleasant, you know, the weather's great, you like the culture, the food, you know, the feta cheese, absolutely fantastic. You can be there, be there with your family, potentially work towards citizenship, although there's a, a cleaner path to citizenship in Italy as opposed to Greece. They usually, in Greece, don't really um, naturalize uh, non-ethnic Greeks, but theoretically possible to get citizenship. So you can take advantage of all of that and still pay very little tax. Again, it'll depend on your income level. If you're earning 20 million euros a year, then your tax rate is going to be below 1%. And if it's all foreign income, uh, if you are earning a million euros a year or a million dollars a year, then your income tax rate is going to be basically around 10%. The other country I wanted to mention that is also in the beautiful Mediterranean is the island of Malta. So Malta, I think, is really interesting to consider, especially if you want to be a bit nomadic. Let's say you want to travel the world with your significant other, you want to grab your girlfriend, you want to go around the world and discover, and you still want to keep a good tax residence in a country that will allow you to access top quality banking, then Malta might be the right place for you. So Malta has different programs, depending if you're EU or non-EU. You, it'll have different conditions, but the let's say the the gold standard, the general standard, is a program where you pay fifteen thousand euros, essentially flat tax fee per year, and then in addition to that, you're paying fifteen percent on any income remitted to Malta or any Maltese source income uh, is also taxed, but at regular rates, right? So let's say again, you're a global entrepreneur, you're running your business globally, you're a Maltese tax resident, you pay your fifteen thousand euros a year, and they won't bother you, provided that you spend your money and you enjoy your money outside of Malta, that it is not remitted to Malta, then you should be fine. The other good thing about Malta, uh, and again, this is like a special add-on, is that Malta does not tax capital gains even if remitted in their case. Essentially, you can have a multi setup that is very tax beneficial. In the case of Italy and Greece, remittance is not really an issue. Malta uh, remittance is an issue because we're working with a non-DOM style taxation system, uh, which combines like a lump sum element, which makes it slightly different than Italy and Greece. So things to consider. Now, those are three. However, I want to add two honorable mentions that I think you will really enjoy. So number one is the Caribbean island of Antigua. So now we're moving a bit away from Europe. We're going to the sunny Caribbean. So Antigua, beautiful place, a fantastic place, uh, great beaches, more laid back vibe, you know, island lifestyle. And Antigua, which may of you, many of you may know it for its citizenship by investment program, also has a great nomadic tax residence program. So it only requires you to stay in Antigua for about 30 days a year, uh, which is really practical. You can take it as, you know, like your, your yearly holiday with your family, your spouse, your significant other. You enjoy the summer for 30 days, you pay $20,000 a year, and that's it. Imagine how beautiful that is. You just pay $20,000 and that's it. No other things to worry about. And you're free to travel the world and still be tax resident of a specific country for banking purposes or insurance purposes or whatever it may be. The second honorable mention I want to include in this video is uh, the mountain nation of Switzerland. So unlike Greece, Italy, Malta, and Antigua, we're going away from the ocean. So if you're more into that beach vibe, that more like yacht lifestyle, maybe not for you, but if you like the cooler weather, you want the mountains, you want the safety, you want the sophistication of Switzerland, uh, then, you know, this can be a great option for you. So Switzerland is basically the pioneer in lump sum taxation. Switzerland has a system that is mm, fairly complicated to explain to a certain extent. So I'll just provide a brief summary. So if you haven't been tax resident of Switzerland for essentially the past 10 years, similar criteria to what happens in Italy and Greece, uh, then you can apply for the system. So essentially you have to be a foreigner. You cannot be married to a Swiss national and you have to relocate indicating that you want to take advantage of this system. So you have to choose ideally a canton that also allows you to do this. Keep in mind that Switzerland is a federal country, so you have to worry and deal with both the cantonal authorities and the federal Swiss authorities. At the federal level, the lump sum taxation system is available nationwide. At the cantonal level, there are a handful of cantons that do not allow lump sum taxation. Unfortunately, Zurich, which is the uh, largest, the most well-known of the cities, is among the cantons that does not allow this. However, you have beautiful Geneva or Genève, as they 
they say in French. This is a wonderful city, very safe, you know, home of some UN offices, and they do allow lump sum uh, taxation as well as some of the uh, more rural uh, German-speaking cantons as well as the Italian-speaking cantons close to Lake Como where, you know, for example, George Clooney is uh, on the Italian side. So essentially, Switzerland will take a look at your living expenses in a nutshell. They'll take a look at how much money exactly you are spending to live in Switzerland, and they'll take a look at things such as your rent, uh, your school tuition for your kids, health insurance, entertainment, and based on your expenses, then they will determine how much tax you have to pay. So again, it is a very interesting system, especially if you manage to live off a small portion of your income. Switzerland can be extremely interesting. Uh, Switzerland does offer a path to citizenship. It, it is not as open as countries like Italy uh, for are, for example, but still, uh, you know, um, it is interesting to know that they do offer that path. Keep in mind, Switzerland offers one of the best passports in the world. So basically, there you have it. Uh, three low tax lump sum countries and two additional, uh, you know, honorable mentions. Uh, definitely consider lump sum taxation, especially if you're an American, and you want to relocate to a European country. Might be interesting for you to take that into consideration, uh, mainly because as an American, the IRS follows you everywhere. So if you can live in a European country and only have to worry about US taxation, I think that could be very interesting if you want to enjoy that European lifestyle, work towards a TRA passport that could potentially replace your US passport in the future, and also do it from a, a tax uh, advantageous point of view. So if you want to learn more about lump sum taxation, you want to learn about all the different countries, uh, and even so alternatives to other special tax regimes, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Instagram, visit our website nomadcapitalist.com.